Ten years after the destruction of Atlantis. Busy rebuilding, are they? How foolish to pretend they are safe. To think that closing some gates would be the end of this. To forget that I'm still here. Well, it's their nature to be forgetful. Even their gods are absent-minded. Zeus has forgotten about everyone he has locked away in Tartarus. It is time for all of us to remind him. Go. Do as I have told you. Make way for the Titans! What? What? Such cool voice effects. No, I do not need help. Thank you. Moving on. <laughs> Da 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 ah, We cannot stay here. There are not enough trees to build shelters or, or light fires against this cold. Crops will not grow here and the savages nearby are getting bolder. The gods have abandoned us. We'd have been better off sinking with Atlantis than coming here. We must move! What's going on here? Zeno, what have I told you about getting everyone worked up? It's all right, Sergeant. He's right. We must move. How, Krios? We have no ships and no one has seen a better place nearby. The gods showed me an abandoned temple in my dreams last night. I was told it is the key to our leaving this place. We must find it. All right. So uh, Atlanteans play very different to every other faction, in especially in terms of the workers. The workers is probably the biggest difference, in my opinion, because they don't like go back and forth between gathering structures. What they do is they just gather, and then you just constantly go up like the resources, so they're just a very, very different type of faction in that regard. But you also have normal units and then counter units, which is also just a very interesting, shall we say, uh, dynamic for this faction. But their god powers are pretty insane. So we're pretty much just going to be focusing on food to start with, but we will be needing gold as well. Savages! Stop them! She wasn't planning to push into yellow quite that quickly. What to do is stop red. So there are two, um, two opponents, three opponents. Yellow, which is here, which attack with um, infantry. Red, which is cavalry, over here, and then orange over here, which is the main objective. Orange is way too heavily defended for us to be taking a fight early on. What I'm doing is trying to meet out the red um, forces before they get to my base and start harassing my villagers. G. Okay, let me want to take on yellow. We must find the temple for my dream. I know it can help us. UG? I don't want to section off their army so we're not fighting everything all at once. And we do need to be mindful that there will be another red attack before we destroy all of these buildings. And that will basically stop all of the harassment once we defeat yellow and red. They're the two big problems early game and then orange never attacked me, they're just defensive. So then we can just 
play the rest of this mission out whilst we gather resources and all that good stuff. I don't know the exact timing of reds, but I think it's somewhere in the five minute mark when they attack you again. I think we can take one more building out and then we can uh, defend against red. If red slips by, it's not the end of the world, it's just very annoying because then you've got to spend time dealing with uh, putting villagers in bases <laughs> in the settlement. It's just easier to defend the second attack, which is due any moment now, I think, give or take. There it is. Yeah, it's just 4 minute 40 or 4 minute 30, something in that region. And we can finish off yellow and then finish off red. And then that is pretty much all of the challenge, I'd say, in this mission. The only thing we got to do then is just build up our forces. Um, very low on food eco, actually. How did he slip by? Rude. Luckily, my melees are better than Herdman's for the most part. They'll win that 1v1. No civilians were hurt during the making of this video. <laughs> Deal with this guy. Take out reds. We'll deal with the dock in a bit. I need to put a couple on wood. I will say this is a very interesting DLC, um, like an expansion. I think it's relatively good. Like, the god powers are pretty okay, I would say, with the Atlanteans. Units are also pretty strong, I would say, with uh, Atlantean. It's the it's the it's the economy that I think is the uh, the big win. The way that they gather resources is kind of nuts, and the fact that they can just hero up any unit, also pretty nuts. I'm a big fan. I think they're a bit overpowered because they don't have to return. So you can literally send them over here, farm up, and they don't even have to build any kind of structure to return resources to, they'll just gather. It's like... It's pretty, pretty powerful, honestly. But that's red, that's yellow. Orange is around here somewhere, I can't remember the exact spot. I can actually put some of these on more food eco. Food is kind of like the main resource we need to be grabbing. Let's see if I can grab the next villager so I can build an armory. As you were. The wood in these trees is no good for shipbuilding. We're stuck here. Uh, it's, all, it's all good. Just use, use the wood net, boys. Complaining about wood is wood. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much this mission in a nutshell. We just need to build up an army large enough to take on Orange, which is a very defensive player. They won't attack you, but boy oh boy do they have a lot of troops. They also have two hill forts, so I'd highly recommend not going until you got at least two 
fire siphons, which are essentially the uh, siege weapon, which you can't actually build, you just get them gifted periodically. Their main um, unit that Orange creates is the um, Huskar and the um, Axe Throwers. The Axe Throwers are probably the biggest problem. So you kind of want to grab the uh, at least this upgrade. Just to uh, make their attacks a little bit more bearable. We should definitely upgrade to Heavy Infantry before we Siege. And then honestly, that is pretty much all she wrote for this cheeky little mission. Man, they just exhaust resources so quickly. There's literally no downtime, they're just constantly picking resources, so it's probably why it goes so quickly. Or goes up so quickly. Mad 500 a minute, woof. That is the temple for my vision. We can use it to escape this place. Literally just waiting on the second fire siphon and then we'll rock and roll. Uh, these... I suppose it's worth picking a few up, I might as well. A second base or sort of second uh, racks. I find the counter infantry interesting. I I don't rate them that much. Not that you can build them in this mission anyway. You, you only get them in the second mission and beyond. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about the uh, counter infantry branch of troops. They've got like a kind of like a ballista type thing, which is good against buildings. That's probably the only one I would be like, oh yeah, that's probably worth picking up. A couple of them. I could be massively downplaying them. Because <laughs> that... supplied us with a fire siphon. The Atlantean army is not one I'm hugely familiar with. I'm not sure I ever did the uh, this um campaign originally. I feel like I did, but I might not have done. Genuinely cannot remember. To me, it wasn't that memorable, but... Alright, let's have a crack at their uh, walls. This army should deal with what they've got. Don't really want to be losing the fire siphons because they're going to be taking down the hill forts for us. Kind of want to draw the enemy out a little bit. So once we've cleaned all this up, oh, we don't get any gold powers, we can't age up on this mission either. Um, just a very basic mission to be honest, a very, like a tutorial almost into uh, how Atlanteans work. First missions generally tend to be like that, in pretty much any age of series. She wrote boys and girls. GG. Oh, we need to put five dudes in, don't we? Lest I forget. And then we need to actually build a settlement. Yeah, <laughs> I always remember there's always like a little bit more to this than uh, I think there is. This is a cool mechanic though, being able to TP uh, or teleport units from one place to another. Bure, 
Oh, really? Unbelievable. Stop the fall on that one, boys. Luckily, I don't need to build anything. I can just literally send the boys where I need them to go. Oh, you guys need to stop producing units too. So I got a gold. <laughs> right, small oversight aside, that went pretty smoothly. GG. Alrighty folks, that'll right about do it for the first mission for the uh, the Titans campaign. Um, the Fall of Atlantis they changed the name for for some weird reason. I don't know why you would do that. Like, just keep the original OG campaign name, surely. But uh, it is what it is. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.